Hola, peeps. We are in the truck. No, no we're, we're in the not. Jeep. I always say truck. I kind of miss our truck a little bit. But we're in the Jeep and we are going to get a, um, we're going to look for Cruz a new car seat. Yeah, we're not too thrilled about the little uh, boosters that we have now that don't mm -mm. that don't have the backs on them because they just kind of they kind of float around. Yeah, and they move around like okay. Let me red. let me back up for a minute. We okay. We're so red right now. We're evil. That was hot. The food. <laughs> we just ate Taco Bell, but um, the car in front of us. See, they're gone now. Red lights for a little bit, but it's because it's dark outside now. But. We, when Cruz was born, well, before he was born, I did a lot of research and I wound up getting um, his stroller, it was Britax, and oh, nice. get off of those things. <laughs> Rumble strips, don't you love them? Nope. Um, but his stroller is a Britax, and so with his car, his car seat was a, his infant carrier was, was a Britax, and so was, we went into a convertible car seat, which was also a Britax, and we absolutely love them. It's good but, stuff. Really good stuff. Yeah, it's really good, and it's made in America, and it um, usually, mo it are, I think they all have a steel frame to them. Plus, it has anchor points and stuff like that, and we have newer cars, so we've always had the, where you could like, anchor it to the back of, tether it and stuff. So, anyway, we, um, he, his, he's, a little bit bigger than that average four-year-old. Everybody thinks he's like six years old because he's just a, he's really tall, and um, his shoulders were kind of kind of going in like this on his seat. They were kind of pushing him in. Yeah, he's cramped. And it was really hard for me to want to get another seat because we could tilt that one backwards a little bit. You could tilt it. It has like I don't remember how many different positions that you could go. I think it was the boulevard was the one we had. I'm not sure. But you could tilt it so whenever he fell asleep, his little head would not fall forward. Which yeah. I think is a really big thing that car seat people, manufacturers should really consider. Because I think a lot of these people that design the seats are not parents. Are children, of course. But, you know, they don't, they don't think about... I know they're thinking about the safety factor, which is great. But they don't think about the child's comfort. Comfort, yeah. Because a lot of the car seats have absolutely no padding. Right. And I know they're wearing a diaper and stuff like that. But, you know, we want to be comfortable when we're riding and stuff. And, ever, you know, and we complain, oh, no, I'm not buying that car because the seats aren't, very, aren't, aren't soft or whatever. Right, exactly. So I think of that when it comes to cruise. So anyway, we got these Chico Oh, car seats. Chico's, that's right. They're Chico's. And I've always heard that Chico's was a good brand and stuff. And we actually had a Chico high chair that we really liked for him. That was just, it didn't have any anchor points. I hated it. And it was a high back car seat, or a high back booster seat. And that thing, if you would go around corners, you know, in big cities, because you know, like, there's lots of curves. I don't know if you, if you guys are familiar with San Antonio, but there's hills and curves and stuff. And I would look back there and his seat would be sideways. He would uh -huh. be riding like this. And we're like, well, okay, well that's not gonna work. So we went and we took those back and we got um, some a base because we just wasn't really sure what to get. Well, we thought, well, he's really tall, we'll just go ahead and get a base. Well, he'll be sitting back there and the next week you know, he's, even though the seatbelt is on him, his, his base seat is off to the side. Well, the thing about these boosters we have now is they're the same thing as that Chico car seat, their booster seat that we had without the back. Yeah. It's the same exact base. Yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't, what is that? It doesn't tether, it doesn't, what's that little no, thing? No, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, it anchor has, to the, yeah. uh, to the anchor points where the other car seats did. Yeah. So it just kind of floats around and then he's only held in place by the seat belt itself. Yeah. So basically, if he's sitting on the seat, the friction from his clothes and everything would actually, in the, in the fr uh, friction of his clothes with the seat cushion would actually keep in place. But since he's on plastic, that plastic slides around. Yeah. So. And you know, he, the whole thing with the reason they're in the booster seats is because of the positioning of the seat belt, so it doesn't like come across their neck where you know it's supposed to come across your shoulder and stuff. So I think we're just gonna get a high back booster seat with a five-point harness. Yeah, and little armrests too. Yeah, and it has armrests and stuff, so I think we're just going to get one of those because I'm really sad that we had to move him out of our convertible car seat yeah. that he had because I really 
did love that one and I liked it because you could take the cover off and you could wash it. Yeah. It was really nice and I just love the Brightex company. I just think they're really good, like the customer service and support. Like I think it was, um, I don't remember what it was, we didn't have a part two. We called them and they shipped, shipped us the part out right, like right away. So they're just, they're just really good. I just really like them. I so, think he was more comfortable in that seat too. I do too. And like we went to Austin and we came back and it was when we had the Chico um, high back booster and we came back and he was like all like this. Yeah. Like he was asleep. I'm sorry. I, I guess you couldn't hear me. He was asleep and his little head was like this. Forward. And you couldn't. There's no way it would stay back. Yeah. And like with the Britex high booster seat, it has where you can tilt the seat back too. So like if the seat's like this, you can kind of tilt it back a little bit and it only has like one has two positions like straight up and down and a little tilted but sometimes that's all you need is just a little bit of a tilt right so you but, know on long trips kids are gonna fall asleep back yeah. there yeah and you know so anyway but that's why for a long like that was probably like a long like what are you doing type thing today uh-huh but lesson on car seats now we're off to the car seat store yeah that's what i called it i couldn't think of the name of it so i was like do you want to go to the car seat store? And he was looking at me like, car seat store? And he started, and he started laughing. I was like, yeah, where were you buying the car seats? He goes, you mean Toys R Us? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> Toy Ross. Toy Ross. <laughs> Yay, Toy Ross. Okay, we're going to go in now. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Is it on? Yes. Oh. <laughs> See it? Oh. We was a, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse song was on when we got in, and so we were all singing it. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. That's actually an infectious song. You start I like hearing it. Hot dog, the first time hot dog, you hear it, you're like, diggity dog. And then it's like, then you walk around the house singing it. And then after a while, you're like, again, because the kids want to hear it. <laughs> That used to be his favorite. That was his first cartoon he ever loved was the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Nine months old, I never forget. Mm -hmm. It makes me sad now. <laughs> Ten years, one car seat. Look at that. Mm. Forever all in one Kylie. It's a Kylie car seat. I can't have a Kylie. It needs to be like a Frank. A cruisy car seat. Okay, so we're trying out this Baby Trend Even Flow because it caught our attention. And it goes up to 65 pounds. And we just got to make sure that the harness will fit him correctly. I'm sure it will. I'm not familiar with this baby trend, but this car seat looks super nice. It's really padded and it goes, I mean, he has another notch he can go up in it. And I honestly don't mind if we have to buy something else later on, as long as he's comfortable right now. Cause see, he has a lot more room even on the sides over here. Wow, oh, babe, that's nice. Is that striped thing? Could we take that out behind his head? Okay. Yeah. So, because on um, the picture it looks like you can. We got two cup holders going on. We're just like really wanting our child to be safe and comfy too, and comfortable at the same time. Do you like it, Chris? Yeah. You do. Are you comfy? Got the anchors here, or this the latches for the anchor, the seat anchors. Mhm. Mm okay, so we got this one too. I may sit in that falls. I know it looks comfortable. Wait, hey, this one looks smaller. What do you think? You don't like it as I, much, do you? I don't know. Honestly, like I said, the only thing I'm worried about is it not being inclined before the way it should be. This one is wider through here than mm -hmm. that one is. But I wonder if it just needs to be adjusted. 
plastic one. That's that's they did. Okay, there's one more. There's a Geico. Let's look at the Geico. Okay, this is the Geico. So far, I think both of us are liking the baby trend better. But he doesn't have enough uh, as much room in this one. <laughs> what do you think, Cruz? What is that? Is it a car? Yes. Let's go. Green motorcycle. It's a green motorcycle? Yeah. Awesome. It's like Bible, but it's green. Yours is better, Cruz. Because it's yours. It's a stunt bike. It's a stunt bike? Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it's going to do, but it's a stunt bike. I see it. <laughs> I think that's cool. You like it? Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so. They didn't have Cruz's car seat. They were sold out. It was a the, the lady said it was a brand new car seat, and I kind of think they since it was a brand new car seat, they probably haven't received any yet. You think? Well, they had to receive some. I mean, they had the floor model, so that was at least one. Well, yeah. I guess but so. it may be that it's so popular that, that they're selling out, and they're having a promotion right now where you trade in an old uh, car seat. Yeah, it can be anything. It can be baby clothes. I looked online. It can be baby clothes. Of course, they can't really be used. It had to be gently worn or something like that. But high chairs, uh, car seats, any type of car seat, even a booster seat. Um, I think high chairs. There's a whole list. There's about 15 things you can you can play pins, all that kind Trade of stuff. Trade in beds. And what do you get for it? You get 25% off um, of an item, and then. If you have a credit card, I think you can get 30 or 35 percent off, and then there's another way you can even get more off, plus 15 percent, which we don't really do a lot with credit cards, so we're just going to do the 25. And the car seat itself is we totally went with not a bright tax. So <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, we're not getting a bright tax, but actually. Um, I was a little shocked, but we're actually going to go back with another convertible car seat because it moves back and forth, you know, reclines. But the reason we liked it was because it was cozy. The whole, I mean, he has about two inches on each side Easy. where he can grow. And he weighs right at 40 pounds, so it goes to 65 pounds. So we have 25 pounds that he can grow with and by then we'll just assess and see where we want him what kind of seat we want him in at that time more than likely he's going to be a tall kid yeah more than likely he might only just need a bottom booster seat and right. he'll be able we'll be able to say oh well put your pillow right here you know to lay your head down with the seat belt you know because they have on amazon they have these things you can put on the seat belt and they just like lay their head against them like that but he doesn't understand how to do that and he gets frustrated and plus i don't think that i i think that um, they shouldn't be allowed to even wear a seat belt till they're like six at least. I mean, I guess it depends on your child, but to me it's just not safe. I don't think so either. But see what he's doing now? You see how he's leaning over? Yeah. See? <laughs> That's not going to be happening after tomorrow. Right. So Ramon's going to call early in the morning whenever they open. She said there's, they should be getting some in. So hopefully they'll get some in. Put one on hold. Yeah. She said put one on hold and then we can come pick it up. And then, well, it's like $159. I couldn't believe it's only $159. And it's so nice. I mean, it's really padded. It's really cushy. It has the little side impact stuff. Car seat escapades day two. Part two. Yes, we're on our way. 
inside Toys R Us to see if we can get this car seat today. And my battery is getting bad, so some of the footage might be on my iPhone. Not getting bad, but it's going... It's dying. It's dying. dying. It's, it's flashing at me. Right. Dang it, I hate it when I forget to do that. Okay, here we go. Look how long his legs are. What do you have? Nana Queen. Nana Queen? He found him a car. See, we're up and down this aisle right here, which is all Lightning McQueen, and we found this little toy. It's on clearance, so I think we're gonna get this toy. Go. Where'd Daddy go? Where'd Daddy go? Oh, there. What did you find? What's this Jeep. It's not silver. It's immigration. It's immigration. Oh, really? Yeah. That's funny. Look. I see. Jeep. I have four sides. Okay. Cruz is finally getting his ride. We wound up getting this baby trend pro elite, which is a convertible car seat. Even though we were going for a booster, I just thought we, we like the convertible car seats much better. And this one is much wider for his shoulders to fit just fine. He has a couple inches on each side and it goes to 65 pounds and he's barely 40. This car seat is supposed to last until they're eight years old. We're in the garage right now. So if you want to know what the blue light is, it's his shiner. <laughs> neon sign. It's given a blue cast to the film, to the footage. That, that's why she couldn't see me because the blue, 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 blue. I know. Light. I was like, where are you? <laughs> oh, that's noisy. Ooh. And these, if you guys are interested in one of these, these are brand new on the market. Our Toys R Us set and, and, and it's an exclusive Toys R Us car seat. Um, other companies carry the baby trend, but this specific model is exclusive to, to uh, Babies R Us, not Toys R Us. Look, that even fits an adult big head. <laughs> I'm so excited. You know you're a mom and you're excited over a car seat. Oh, and you can take this off and wash it. This all comes apart and washes. Okay, so we're uh, moving the little crotch seat belt positioning forward when we were at the store we were trying to figure out how to move it because it was like really stuck up against his his little, little privates guy. yeah so <laughs> it's there's just there's a front button where it says push right there i don't know if you see that see that where it says push yeah and there's also one in the back too you probably can't see it from here but uh, turn it back there okay you just push those both down and move Awesome, simple, simple. Now we're going to put the headrest onto the car seat. And I think there's just some little, yep, little groove back there. Let me see. Oh, this went into place real easy. There's a little lever, it takes the headrest off. That's nice. Our other one didn't do that, I don't think. No. That's really nice. And then here's the part. That's the part that matches to the back. And it goes up, it's all the way up. It has four different positions for the seat belt. Okay, so now we're gonna try to get this bad boy into our car. What's that? This is the latch, part of the latch system. Oh, okay. It latches under the anchors down here into the seat. So I'm gonna do that right now. It even has some instructions on what to do. Oh, nice. We're doing this in our garage, and it's at night, but my car is dark, so it's like, even though the lights are on, it's hard to see. Okay, so we didn't know when we got the car seat. It's already set up for rear facing. And if you're front facing, you have to move it through this section right here. But if it was already set up. It was through rear facing. Yeah, so it was through that through that little con 
through that compartment right there. So anyway, it says right there, see it says rear facing seat belt here and forward facing seat belt here, which we didn't see at first. But anyway, I thought that would be kind of interesting for you guys to know. So you wouldn't have the struggles we had. Let's that sucker, babe. Click. I think we have it in a place. It's been a chore. I don't, I shouldn't say we have it in place. It's just that Ramon has it in place. So he said if I break suddenly, it's not moving. If she accelerates suddenly, it's not moving. <laughs> The only thing is it kind of moves a little bit from side to side because we can't, he can't get it to... I can't get it cinched down tight like the uh, Brightex. Brightex. The Brightex had two separate straps for each latch. So you could cinch one side down and then push the other side down and cinch it up. This has one big loop so you can only cinch it on this side. And uh... I've got it about since down as much as I can with this. It's not budging at all. So that's the dilemma I'm having. So it kind of moves a little bit from side to side, but you really have to like. So we kind of don't like that, so we don't know what to. We don't know what to do about that. So. And the Brightex, since it had two latch systems, they, each of them was. Uh, tied under the frame on each side so I don't really like this design because you can't cinch it down you know, as tight as possible so we're gonna try it out for a couple of days and see how we like it and then go from there but it's a lot better than just the standalone bases that this is comfy padded you know it's real nice yeah it's like it's padded and then it's I don't know, can you see how thick that is? It's really, what, what do you say about good? Well, at least half an inch. Half an insane. inch or more. Three quarters of an inch. And down in here, can you see how much I'm pushing down? It's really, really padded. It's just a super, super nice car seat. See, here's all the insole, you know. I, it might be a little bit more right there, but we're leaving this in here to see how he sits with it and then if it's too not a, if it's too much we'll take it out but only thing I don't like also is that it doesn't have any like little protector little padding yeah padding thing that goes like back here to protect you know you from Sensibly pinching your is. babies yeah because you know you pinch sometimes you can pinch them if you're not careful so I have to be extra careful yeah and the way this latches in there you can I, when I was latching him in last night in the, at the one in the store, I was trying to be careful not to get the inner thigh with this. Yeah. You know. Where's the other one? Here it is. Yeah. So, so you got to be careful. See this little thing? It just goes like this. See, so there's a lot to pinch right there. <laughs> it's nice, though. I just think that there should be some little padding back here, which I may make something to put back there because you know that's not going to be very comfortable against their legs and stuff. Right. So we're going to try it out for a couple days. I really do love the car seat, the way it's padded and this head thing and it has extra room. But if if it's not exactly what we want, then we're not going to spend them. You know, we're going to upgrade or get something different if we can't, if it's not exactly what we love. We're really liking the car seat. It's just, it has a couple of things that we feel needs. Just a couple of design flaws. Yeah. For the most part. Just like between the legs, the latch system could be a little bit better, like he said. Yeah, we'll keep you updated on our progress and what we decide. If we decide to, to keep the car seat, if it was... I don't know, it's a good car seat. <laughs> we're, just, we're just uncertain at, at this point what we want to do. We need to set his little booty in here and see what to do. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the car seat, about anything, please leave a comment in the description box below. And I'm sure we'll also be updating in the future too. So um, also keep a lookout for that. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.